created my own false history from my own secret society and kind of did a series of posters based off of it. Kind of built up mythology around these organizations that, you know, people have kind of invented to be more than they possibly are. Really psychedelic kind of artwork without it being sort of a cliched psychedelic artwork where it's really bright colored, kind of, you know, the entire color spectrum is found with on one poster. A lot of false symbolism. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be more about you, your, your own, um, it's kind of like your own superstitions are kind of filling in little pieces of it. I created uh, some, kind of my own symbol, kind of like with the way the Illuminati have the kind of pyramid with the eye on it and stuff like that. And I kind of created my own little iconic symbol. And then what I did was I made a cipher, which is each, each letter of the alphabet corresponds to a certain symbolic thing. I printed out a bunch of these uh, ciphers and I made a bunch of envelopes that had this symbol on them and I distribute them around the city. And the idea was, was that you would write some kind of kind of almost nonsensical, crazy talk on it. So it's almost as if someone kind of stumbles upon this sort of this sort of thing of uh, you almost finding uh, a secret society that's kind of coercing under under the underground or whatever, and you kind of just find this kind of thing. And, and the idea is that you reward this person for kind of going out of their comfort zone. We'd be it as small as it is, but actually engaging in this thing and. and writing out and figuring out what the code is. And then it just kind of grew out of that where I started creating these sort of this sort of godlike imagery and the sort of sort of sacrificial imagery and all this other stuff that went along with kind of other secret societies. My name is Lucas Glusenkamp and I'm a raw artist.